Hello, here goes part two of the video on our Victron Energy Blue Power Isolated Smart Solar Charge Controller with a Bluetooth capability MPPT RS 450 slash 100 TR with a dual MPPT. Is this how it is? So we got this wired to the battery with um, my number six cable I just used there. I didn't put any heat shrink. Yes, has um, MPPT one and MPPT two. And bring it to my battery I built before and wasn't able to utilize at all and I brought it to the parallel here all the positive because it's a 48 volt module from battery hookup it's a 96.8 amp hours I've uh, oh, you've seen this before if you haven't these are the specs these are Panasonic cells so 3.694.08 kilowatt hours and that's a 3.6 volts pan cell. So these are all the parameters, fully discharged and all the way charged. It can pull about 100 amps continuous, 25 amps pan cell. So it's charged fully at 54.6 volts, which is at 4.2 volts pan cell. Okay, all right. So, when I was building this, they're all parallel because they're all 48 volts. So, I have 12 of them. You can see one, two, three, four, five, six, and six on the other side. And these are the cells that Battery Cup was selling. Um, they are inside like um 18650 batteries. So, we're gonna cover up this guy without any trouble. Not looking for one at this moment. And I got this one here. So since they're all parallel, I just push double breakers. And we're gonna come here and turn the power button. And let's watch the screen. Victron Energy Smart Solar MPPT RS4 5100. No PV input power. There's a Bluetooth um, indication, and that's the battery, 53 point something. So it's gonna give you the power what you made today and the total wattage you're producing. So it keep <clears throat> going back and forth. So I don't know if this screen stays on or is a power saving, 53.84. But I don't know how you can turn. Maybe it's a tapping. I don't know. Uh, we all got to find out. I haven't read the book yet. So I hope the screen don't just stay on constantly because probably it's going to get burnt, burnt out. So we're going to come right here. Now it's already powered. We're going to see probably we can able to um, update the firmware. So let's see if we found it. Ah, right here. So these are all my Bluetooth devices from Victron. Two charge controllers and uh, three shunts. And now there's a new guy right here. So that's a good thing. We're gonna click on it before we do. We make sure we want to update the firmware. It's going to ask our password, but I have to turn the Wi-Fi on so we can be able to have some connectivity. So. Stay tuned. I click on it. Then you can see it's flashing. He's trying to do a connection. 
to this guy right here. Now he's asking us for the password. So the temporary, we can just use the default password. You guys know it. Um, for Victron, uh, six zeros. And we're going to change that later. It's right here. Now it's kind of like gray shaded. And I was still trying to connect to the device. I see the device probably is unused. Almost. Here we go. It's connecting for the first time. So now it requires a firmware update. So is a version they have available. The current one is um, V1.05, now V.16. So we'll go that. It's going to update that. And this is what the screen is saying here. Update are active. So this is what it is. You have to have your Bluetooth, whatever, on your device that is downloading to be there so that you can able to download the firmware. To the firmware updates and we can go about it okay now it's done we're gonna go continue and we're gonna look for the device it's right here This is the first thing you want to do. You want to update the firmware before you do anything because the device is not even going to let you because Victron is always keen for things. So if I want to change the password, I can do it, but I can say, do not want me for this, not now. So I can able to monkey around. You can see from left to right, like this device never been used and now you want to get some of these cool features that shows here then you can enable it we can say do not and enable or else it's gonna be it's gonna come up anytime you do that so go up here and see product info see that Well, the able enable one of the device Victron has uh, something new they are testing. So I don't know. Maybe you guys hold on. This is how it looks like. Since our battery bank is fifty four point six. And it has a preset right here, which is um, 57 absorb and float 55 or something equalize about 60. So you can go the expert mode. You can click on that. That acknowledge that. Then they have uh, presets that they already have here. So, or else you can use a user, then user define, 
they can set your parameters the way you want it. So there they already have um, a presets that they already created. So I can able to change or set up my batteries the way I want them. Thanks for watching. I think I will stop from there. I'll see you guys on the next video. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. JW Solo USA, live from Minnesota. So if you go uh, user define, you can able to use the remote And it's gonna say remote on and off with a two wire BMS. So these are not a feature for you guys. So you can able to do that. And since we are a um, user defined, we can able to change our battery parameters the way we want it. And the charge controller is 100 amp already. And we can come here and change our values to 54.6 sorry for that light camera light Let's consider full charge and save that. You're gonna have a check mark on the corner right here, and you can just set your float. Okay. So equalizing, we wanna set the same values because you don't equalize these batteries.